hope you're happy now I wish I could bank on us Y'all, it's your girl Fee, and I know I look crazy, look a little hot mess. I try to slick my edges down with that viral edge control. I will say that viral edge control is really good, but I feel like I be putting too much and be having it too caked up. And maybe I just need to put a little bit, but then when I put a little bit, I feel like it's not laying down. But it's a 10 out of 10, y'all. Um... So that's why I got on my edges. So if my edges look white, y'all, that's why. Um, so on today's agenda is go to the hair store, which I'm in the parking lot at the hair store now. Um, what else I had to do? What else? What else? What else? Go to the hair store, go to the post office, pick up my brand ambassador package because it got returned back. So I need to send it to her. And I need to, well, actually, no, I'm not going to send it to her. I'm just going to take it down with me to Florida because I'm going to Florida. Um, This is my first out-of-town vending event, y'all. Oh, my arm is hurting because I got to hold my camera. Let me just put y'all up here. Let me just sit y'all right here. So this is my first um out-of-town um, vending event. Um, I was told that I need to, like, go out and do more events outside of houston and i've been wanting to do that because i feel like every time i go to pop-up events here in houston i've been feeling like it's very like stagnant for me because and i'm not i'm like i promise i don't mean this in no type of way but like not a lot of other cultures know about waist beads um predominantly like mostly black people know about waist beads but waist beads is not only meant for black women i will make that clear but like if i go to a, an event and it's mostly like spanish people i don't do too well at those type of events because they're not really familiar um with waist beads so they're like mm, i don't know about it or they'll look like walk past my table but then you know some events where it's mainly a lot of like spanish people um, they will buy the um, bracelets and they'll buy the jewelry and stuff. And then I have jewelry that I know that in the Mexican culture they wear or, you know, in the, in the, in the Puerto Rican culture, whatever, you know, in the Spanish culture, I have those type of accessories that I know that they like. But it's like, dang, I want to sell my waist beads. I look at the waist beads. Um, so I might just start back making some evil eye um, waist beads. I really didn't want to jump back into them because, like, um, I am Christian. And as Christians, we don't, you know, necessarily necessarily believe in the um evil eye um and i seen another way to talking about it and i did my own dive into it and i was like dang i'm not supposed to be like you know idolizing things but i don't idolize it i honestly like just sell it just because i know other cultures that do shop with me that is something that they like and that they would purchase so i'm just like god knows my heart he knows that i'm not idolizing it he knows that this is just what you know my customer is like and i just spoke to my mom about it and she was like as long as you're not idolizing it you know or whatever you know i'm still like i um, still learning stuff about that and i'm still like in between about that but um I'm thinking about bringing some evil eye waist beads back because I know that was like a really heavy hitter in the Spanish culture. Um, but yeah, y'all, like I'm really nervous. I have a lot of mixed emotions about going, but I already got my plane ticket. I already told my mom I'm coming. And y'all, it's in my hometown. I am from Orlando, Florida. I was originally born in Fort Lauderdale, Broward County. <laughs> I honestly wish that my mama still uh, kept us in Fort Lauderdale because honestly, I just feel like I just like I'm a broad baby. Like every time I go to Fort Lauderdale, I'm happy. I'm always in a good mood. Like I don't know, just something about Fort Lauderdale. I just be so happy about. Um, but I get my hair done on Wednesday. I'm getting um, barrel twists. Um, it's gonna be like it's gonna be the soft locks, but they're gonna be barreled around, and it's gonna be like a cute little pineapple. It's gonna be cute. It's gonna be something different. Um, I've been doing a lot of um, protective styles that because it's stacking season for me and right now a wig is just the last thing that I want to deal with right now um, I probably like get a wig installed in December when I go back down to Florida for my mom's birthday um, but other than that like you know protective styles okay good girl's trying to stay in her bag she's not trying to keep pulling out her bag um, so that's what I'm gonna do Ooh. I had my foot on the brake the whole time. Sorry, y'all. Um, but, yep, that's um, what's on the agenda. Really, it's just the hair store. I just want to get that knocked out and go home and um, make some stuff because I have Black Friday. Black Friday is coming up, and when I come back um, from um, Orlando, hopefully by the time I post this video, you guys... 
Well, no. I won't. No, that would be too early to post it. No, actually, no. Okay, the next video, I'm going to say by the time I post it. But this video is going to be a weekly vlog. Um, What else I got to do? I got to get my nails done. I think I get them done on Monday. Um, Fingers crossed that I still get them done. Because, child, I'm in between blessings right now. Like, it's crunch time for me. And I still have to get a stand for out there. Because my stand is not going to fit in my suitcase. Those poles not all going to fit in my suitcase. So, I got to order one and send it to my mom's house. Shout out to my godmother. She sent the retractable banner. I needed a new one. She sent it to my mom's house. That one I know I can bring back with me. Because it's really small and it fits in my duffel bag already as it is. Um, if not, I just have my mama mail it to me. It's really not no big deal about that one. Um... My graphic designer is making my banner from my tent, my banner that goes on the back of my tent, and then um, the retractable banner. So I'm going to touch base with her probably like on Monday and see what is the dealio with that. If I need to send the order to one in Orlando and I just pick it up. I have to get lawn chairs and I have to get a tent. I'm so frustrated about getting this tent. I really don't want to get this tent, y'all. Because it's like I got to get the tent. Spend this money and don't even need the tent. But everybody like, girl, if you don't return it, so yeah, I'm finna return the tent if I use it because honestly, I have a tent. Like, I have two tents, but I can't travel with the tent. And no, I'm not driving 14 hours to Florida. Like, that's crazy. I would never drive 14 hours to Florida and not in this car. Um, <laughs> so I would just say, you know, just drive. Uh -uh, I don't wanna drive. If I would've drove, it would've been so much better because I could bring my whole life. I could bring Bentley with me. Um, but I did find a babysitter for Bentley. My lash check, shout out to my lash check. Okay, she's doing my lashes. Whew, I got two lash checks and I um dibble and dabble between them both. Those are the only two ladies I trust. Um, but yeah, Bentley is fun to go to my lash tech. She's gonna watch him for me and we, I'm gonna get my lashes done. I ordered me some outfits from Fashion Nova, so we'll do a Fashion Nova haul and we'll see how um I feel about them because I don't know. Every time I order online, I just be real sketchy when it comes to ordering online because I be feeling like I don't know what fits me now no more and I haven't went shopping in so, 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 so long. So I'm just praying like there'll be one time in a month where I could just go shop. But now that I move, I have to get my apartment decorated. And I have not got nothing from my apartment. Like, my apartment is empty. It doesn't really have nothing. Like, nothing at all. Like, when I say nothing, like, nothing. <laughs> so, um, because I did have to sell my furniture. Oh, so let me catch y'all up real quick. I know I'm just talking so much, but I got to catch y'all up because it's been forever since I posted a vlog. So, I had to move out of my last apartment. Y'all already know. Um, the apartment struggle that I was going through through my first few vlogs. That apartment was a disaster and I left them two horrible reviews. Cause why don't people told me they didn't have no record of me staying there? Stop playing with me. I said, this is Felicia, blah, 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 blah. Stop playing with me. And I posted the pictures. Um, and they still trying to charge me like a $400 move out fee because I didn't take the wallpaper down. But yeah, I couldn't even take the wallpaper down because the mold was bleeding through the wallpaper and I was coughing like so, so freaking bad. Like I'm inhaling all that freaking mold. Like that's disgusting. So I couldn't really peel it off because the wall was like wet behind. So I'm trying to tell them that, but they weren't trying to hear that over there. Speaking of that, I'm gonna go stop by over there because they were supposed to send me the paperwork. Um, to show that because y'all they tried to send over the amount of me moving out early on my lease and it was like you owe us for a grand and I went up there and I'm like what I mean owe you for a grand like y'all know the situation where I moved out y'all said I could move out because my life was in danger and that's a story for another day like literally my life was in danger so I had to go like some freaking weirdo I was over there oh uh, no, let me tell y'all real quick. So, long story short, valet trash guy tried to shoot his shot at me a couple of times. Shot his shot down. Let him know, you know, you know, I don't want you. I'm taking or whatever. And he knew that. Like, he seen me um, with the girl that I was at, with at the time. Um, that story for another day. Um, and he uh, decided one day he wanted to come knock on my door at like 9, 10 o'clock at night. And there was no trash by the door for him to take. So I'm trying to figure out why you were at my door. I didn't open the door, y'all. I was on live and I was telling people on TikTok live. I was like, oh my gosh, you better trash guys at my door. And y'all, he was just grabbing his stuff. And I'm like, ew, like, is this man like getting turned on? Like, why he picturing me coming to open the door? Like, y'all, he was really persistent and I just wasn't having that. I told the front office, they told me he was fired. After he felt fired, something just told me like, you need to go. So I told him, I showed him the video and it was like, you can go. And I left. So 
They told me I could go to the supervisor approved it. So why in the hell are y'all saying that I owe y'all this and X, Y, and Z? Like, stop playing with me. I don't owe y'all shit. So then I called them. They was like, um, oh, we're so sorry. Um, my man didn't let us know about none of this. She's no longer here. I'm like, y'all switch y'all management way too much. And y'all always, like, the management just don't let y'all know what they left. Like, what they... I said, hold on, they don't sound right because she told me she told the supervisor of the company so how does you not know if the supervisor of the company i said so this i said i don't care what you gotta do you gotta remove it because i have emails and that's why i'll never delete nothing so i sent everything to them but they said i have a move out balance because i left one bag of trash which the trash bag was so freaking heavy and i left it at the front door outside because valet trash gonna come i left my desk they charged me for that i wasn't gonna take that desk down i didn't think they would charge me for a freaking desk but yeah like and they charged me for the wallpaper like okay cool i'll pay that but whatever but um oh my camera is getting super hot y'all oh my camera's getting hot i should have never had it up there okay so ooh, technical difficulties we haven't tech 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 I zoomed y'all in. We have a technical difficulty. So, um, yeah, y'all. So, yep, that's what's been going on. Um, but I am running my mouth so much, but I needed to catch y'all up real quick. So that is what this week plans is. And today's plan is just the hair. So I really feel like it was, oh, I'm gonna go get me something to eat. So we're gonna talk somewhere. I have to get something to eat, and my camera should cool down by now because it's telling me it's overheating. Should have never had it sitting in the sun. But I'll catch y'all later. So I got these pants. I hope they fit me. They cut out right here. And this is how they look. Y'all see how it looks? So hopefully they look like this. Because she killed me. Um, I got some socks. And I really got this outfit. I got one full outfit. I really hope this outfit look like something on me. I really fell in love with this shirt. Oh, the medium is pretty big. Dang. Maybe I should have got a small. It look pretty big, don't it, y'all? Ooh, maybe I should have got a small. Let me try it on. Then I got these pants i really fell in love with these pink pants and they are super cute in person they got the bows this is the shirt that i got to go with it but i low-key feel like i'm gonna go get a different shirt to go with it because i like this i feel like this with some cute jeans would be cute so i got that damn these are cute y'all yeah these are really cute these are medium so hopefully they fit but i feel like I could have fit a small because they stretchy. So hopefully they fit me. They not long as hell. Oh my gosh, that's so cute to both. Okay, so I got this corset. Got this corset because this corset is cute. I really like corsets. Like, I've been having a thing for corsets, but it's hard for me to find a corset with this good. Y'all probably like, girl, what good? It's a good there. But as y'all can see, y'all see how the corset look, and y'all see it on her, okay? And then, all the girls have been talking about how Fashion Nova got Von Dutch. So I'm like, ooh, Von Dutch, Von Dutch. And it says it's supposed to be a little cold, so I got me a Von Dutch sweet suit. And it says Von Dutch on the back. I don't know what type of sneakers I'm going to wear, but it's giving uh, some white forces and call it a day. I don't know. I love you when you get some new balances, but I don't know. We'll see. And then I got these cute little shorts. In the review, the girl was like, well, this is actually a skirt. She said like, oh, she wasn't too fond of it. But I feel like a cute shirt. I'm going to take this to Akira and ask my stylist and see if she could find anything to go with it. But y'all, this is really cute. And I feel like she's going to get me right with like some fishnets and some boots. Yeah, I'm gonna bring that to her and she's gonna help me pick it out. Y'all will be here, of course. And then this is the top to the bondage, and it's so cute. I got a small so it could just 
stay up so it won't be falling off and it's super cute y'all and it got a little bone dutch that you know that you did your big one with this so y'all will see me post a video well i said post a video y'all will we will do the full fashion overhaul tomorrow i'm gonna try these on and we're gonna see how it look on me hopefully everything fit fingers crossed but i'm gonna go ahead and get in the shower and get ready to lay down i need to go through my fall lounger lineup this is the lineup y'all and i'm doing um burgundy brown and olive green yeah that's the lineup and the girlie's been asking about the lineup so much so i'm gonna go ahead and do another vote for tomorrow to make sure these are the colors they're gonna get and start doing pre-orders for that and get the pre-ordering in um so i can order them so yeah y'all that is what i'm doing tonight until i go to bed i'm gonna clean this up so i can get in the shower and that concludes today vlog i was about to get back and do the vlog and do the vlog of me eating y'all i devoured that food like the food and did not stand a chance and i got tired and then i got on live and then i got sidetracked it but i came back to give y'all the fashion over how the pre stop okay we're gonna try it on tomorrow so good night y'all see y'all later we'll see y'all tomorrow all right y'all so i took a shower um moisturized my face damn i need my eyebrows done but we gonna get all this together this week i am super tired um mother nature came today so i'm exhausted i have a migraine my stomach hurt i'm hungry as hell um but yeah y'all i will see y'all tomorrow for another vlog what's up y'all so Today is November 16th, it's 3.54, and I really didn't do much today. I tried to get on live, and it was just so draining. Like, getting on TikTok live is just not what it is anymore, especially, like, for me, because all my customers is on my business page, and, like, on my personal page, it's like, I don't really have too much of people on there, like, mm. but... Um, today I'm like really feeling out of breath. I'm feeling exhausted, tired. Um, but I went and got some Chipotle. I wanted to get something that will fill me up. So this is what I got. Out of all places they could have parked. Why did they park right here? Like that is just so weird. Like he just pulled up behind him or whatever. But okay. Pay attention to my surroundings. Um, um, yeah, he's getting in the car with him. Let me look away. And mind my business because yeah they doing transactions because <laughs> that are all places oh no he got in the car and left with him oh, okay um <laughs> i'm being way too nosy but um i went into target because it was right here and got me some doritos i didn't eat this big bag and i got me an olipop which is my favorite i got me some deodorant because i ran out of deodorant this morning i did put on deodorant but I knew it was low. Um, so in my Chipotle bowl, I got that new meat that they have. Um, I forgot what it's called. I really, I forgot what it's called. But um, yeah, I'll put what I got in my bowl for you guys. If you guys want to try what I put in there. I'm going to just put the new Chipotle meat. Well, I'm going to just look it up. And, yeah. But I got that new Chipotle meat. And I got a lot of sour cream. I love sour cream. Heavy on the sour cream. Cheese, um, rice, corn and then i got the vinaigrette sauce i didn't get red sauce because um i can't really have nothing spicy really lately because lately um i've been having an allergic reaction to certain spices and i don't know what it is and but it just has my mouth swelled up uh oh but we just gonna pour Ooh, my bowl is full full i love that vinaigrette sauce though and then i got some queso um i normally don't get queso but I got queso this time because I don't think I ever tried that queso. So I got queso. Let's see. Mm, their queso is good. Now everybody know how to make a good queso. So well, that's what I got. Um, I really didn't do much today. I really didn't have much to do today. Um, I did make a waist bead today. Um, I made fantasy. And that was it. That's pretty much all that I did today. And y'all just a bowl. I couldn't pour all the sauce because it's gonna 
ooze out, but oh my gosh, this bowl is so good. Hold on. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. But I really didn't do much today, y'all. Um, we do gotta do the um fashion overhaul. So I'm gonna do that. I'm trying on clothes when I get home. Mm. I'm so proud of myself because I managed to get out of bed. And a part of me just wanted to stay in bed. But I know I have stuff to do. I have to get ready to come to Florida. Well, I mean, go to Florida. Mm. But, yeah, y'all. That's it on today's agenda. Really ain't doing much at all. Debating if I'm going to be able to go to the mall or not. Still not sure, but yep, yeah, that's really pretty much it. That's on the list. Like, that's pretty much it. I got two orders today, so that's good. The meat on here is kind of sweet, and I'm not really feeling that, but then I am. So, heads up, it has a sweet taste to it if y'all ain't tried it yet. But I'm gonna finish this bowl. And um, the next clip, y'all gonna see me doing this fashion overhaul. Hopefully, I don't get itis and go straight to sleep. Because, nah, we gonna do this fashion overhaul. I'm not gonna be last minute. We gonna do it. Uh uh. Yeah, we gonna do it. Alright, y'all. So, this is the first outfit my best friend approves. I got her on the phone with me. And she said yes. This is how the back look. Von Dutch. But she said it's going to be cold. So I got to find something to go over it. I got a small. Which is pretty tight y'all. I ain't going to lie. But I'd rather it tight than big. Because it ain't going nowhere. So when I. It ain't going nowhere. But yeah this is the first outfit. I'm so happy because I'm not in high waters. That's something I feared that I'll be in high waters. I'm not in high waters. Yeah, so we're gonna go to outfit number two. Okay, y'all, this is the second outfit. It has bows. I don't know if I want to wear this shirt with it. These are the pants. Ain't they cute? They got little bows. That's so cute. But I don't know how I feel about this shirt. I don't know if I want to wear it with it. But then again, the shirt is cute with it. What you think? We'll see the shirt. Okay, we're gonna get the shirt with this because. I like the way it just fit me. Oh yeah, too fit. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go to outfit number three. Okay, y'all. So these are the pants, and they cut like right here. That's how they cut it. This is the back of them, and then they like have that long at the back. They like flare out. But I like these. I like how they cut out right here. I'm going to have to wear like some really low cut undies. Because, yeah. Yeah, they flare out at the bottom. Now all I got to do is find a shirt to go with it. But I like this. I ain't show y'all the poofy skirt. Because the poofy skirt, I got to find a shirt. But I got to show y'all the full look. But, yeah, y'all. That's, that's what we're working with so far. Y'all let me know in the comments which one do you like. And then before I leave, we're going to do a full outfit look with my hair done and everything. And yeah, y'all going to read it for me. November 18th and it is raining today it's a rainy day um this is the outfit um uh, this what I'm working with nothing too special y'all I promise 
Oh, my camera's out blurry. Hold on, y'all. Let me fix it. See if it's better. Y'all, I was so tired. Y'all, I was so tired. I'm so tired. So when I got home, um, I had a headache. My hair is so tight, y'all. But she did a really good job, as y'all can see. Check out the hair. She did a really freaking good job, y'all. But I'm just like so freaking tired. So uh, when I came home, I had my hair up. I had my hair up. So this is a style that um i wanted and that's what she did but my hair was so tight that i had to take it down so i had put like a warm rag and i'm very tender-headed to like help with the pressure and it did kind of help it's still a little tight so i probably won't put my hair up till the day of the um classics i'll probably put it up um but now i'm fun to pack my suitcase and I have to pack orders. And then we're going to go through these outfits. Because I told y'all I was going to show y'all how these outfits look once my hair is done. This is my nails. Nail check. Nail check. Uh-huh. So far, make you want to go get my nail tech. Yeah. So, these are my nails. For some reason, I really wanted to go with the cheetah print. And I'm really loving it. I, for some reason, I'm obsessed with cheetah print. Um, cherries. Yeah, cheetah print and cherries is like my addiction right now like anything with cherries and cheetah print like i don't know i've just been going crazy about it um but yeah and then i freaking sent my fashion over package to my old apartment so i'm hoping when i go on the ups portal i can like redirect it to my mom's address i know they'll probably make me pay a fee because i did it once before and it kind of delayed it another day but i'm just hoping like i'm i keep like refreshing my email so when the tracking updates i can just hurry up and go ahead and do it like before it hits texas or like if it does like they reroute it to florida like i don't know i just want that stuff to go to florida like i don't i don't care if it comes in like a day later or whatever as long as i just want them to come in because like what like if i go up to the apartment complex when i get back on the 25th like i guarantee like my stuff is not gonna be there like they're not gonna give me my stuff like no so um that is what we doing tonight and then i'm gonna pack these orders because um tuesday orders gotta go out um tomorrow morning and then i left my stanley cup at my hairstylist house so i got to um wake up early and go to her house and go grab my stanley cup and from the stanley cup um i actually got to pack bentley's bag because my last check is gonna watch him for me while i'm gone i don't see her till 1 p.m so what i'm probably gonna do is try to go get my eyebrows um done um on her side of town go to office depot see if i could get some some business cards um for my tax repair business cards because they do same day printing so i'm gonna see if they can do that um my banner is probably i'm probably not gonna have my new banner at my setup um my graphic designer didn't send me over um the stuff yet which i'm not tripping because it was me i was last minute as fuck and i know she's super busy so yeah we're gonna cut that out um but um what else what else but yeah y'all let's jump into these outfits um i laid out a few outfits on the bed like a few jackets and i'm gonna just try to piece some things together just in case that fashion over package don't come through i did go to akira but the girl that normally styles me no longer worked there and it was just so overwhelming for me for me to find something on my own and i was like really not i ain't really had time for real to really look and i didn't really feel like spending like 60 forty dollars on a shirt like i just didn't really feel like spending it so i'm just like let me just go home and look at my closet and see what i have 
because I never wear that stuff out there. But let me just try to mix match some stuff. And hopefully I can rewrite that Fashion Nova package because they have this green and black jumpsuit that I had got that's like cropped. And it's, they, I think it's so freaking cute. And I really want to wear it and I really feel like I want to throw on some Ed Hardy because it's supposed to be like 40 something degrees. So like, yeah, I kind of want to be comfortable and warm and cute at the same time. But we'll see. So let's jump into this vlog, y'all. And let's see what time I go to bed. So this is the first outfit. I really love these bows right here. Like, I love that. But this is the first outfit. I'm really feeling it. I don't know what shoes I'm finna wear, so we finna figure that out now. So let's go find some shoes. Okay, y'all. So these are the shoes that I were looking at. I have these new balances that I got. And I don't know, like I like it, but then I don't because I feel like the nude in the green throws it off. But then again, if I do pull it off, I feel like if I was to wear it, I can pull it off with my coach purse. Like, y'all see that? I feel like it's cute. Y'all let me know in the comments. Like, I feel like it's cute. I'm going to try one more shoe and I'll see how I feel, but... I'm really liking this. Yeah, like, look, y'all. I'm really liking this. Don't mind Bentley. He's being a crybaby right now. But I think I like this. is tea. Okay. I changed into these shoes. These are the coat shoes that actually go with this bag. And look, y'all. Look at that. These are cuter. But then... I don't know. I don't know which one, y'all. Like, I love both of them. I don't know. Like, let me zoom in for y'all. Like, I really don't know. I like both. Like, I really do like both of them. I don't know, y'all. I don't know what shoe because literally both shoes have the same color scheme but i feel like this goes better with it so i think i'm gonna wear this in this yeah i think i'm gonna do these two together okay so this is the this is the next outfit y'all and i really like this outfit it's really comfortable um i don't know if i'm gonna be going out too much during the week but this is like a cute outfit for friday or saturday i low-key wanted to wear rich off my hustle loungewear set um but i just don't know if i want to wear it out there i don't know like i want to wear it but then i kind of just want to wear it through the airport to do content and then but then it's like people need to see it on me so i'm just debating on if i'm aware while i'm out there i just think i'm gonna wear it on the airport and then that's it um, but I really like this outfit. It's really chill. I have on some yellow and gray New Balances. And I think I like the New Balances better than these. Because these are really cute. Don't get me wrong. Let me show y'all. They are cute. But I feel like when you don't see the thick laces, it kind of throw it off. And I really like this jacket. This is a jacket that I had wore with a, like, a little skirt outfit. And um, she told me to wear it off the shoulder. And I thought it was cute because this top kind of falls down because um, it had like a little strap that's like making like a little halter. But I don't broke the strap. So, but I, I like this. I'm, I'm really feeling this. I'm really feeling it with these shoes, not these. I like this. This is our real chill. We're cute. I like how my hair looks down with it, even though my hair going to be up. But I like this. It's super smooth and the waist beads are definitely showing. So if I was to wear it on Saturday or Friday while I'm vending, I'll be super comfortable in it. When I say I love this outfit, I don't even know how I piece this together. I got these from Akira and both of my boots is from Akira. This one is a high knee boot. Um, Y'all see that little heel? And this one is just like a low top boot. I don't know which one I'm feeling because this one, these boots go all the way to my knees. They're long, but because my pants is covering it, y'all really can't see it. But I thought this was cute with the little jacket. The jacket falls together with it. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Um, I thought the jacket would be cute. Like, you know, something flirty. Probably like put this. Hold on. Fix it. Like put it across the shoulder, something like that. 
I don't know, because it's supposed to be cold, so I'm going to need a little jacket. But I know once I get that look at my system, it ain't going to be cold no more. But um, this is it. Like I think I like these high knee boots with it. And I kind of like how the pants fall against the boot. And then all my legs will be super warm. I'm kind of not feeling these, because these is kind of giving me cowgirl type shit. Because they're like pointed in the front. But I'm really feeling these. But yeah, y'all. I love this outfit. This is most likely the outfit I'll wear today party. Um, now I'm gonna go try on some shorts with some honey boots. And yeah, let's see how that goes because I got some leather jacket. All right, y'all. So I got tired of trying on outfits and I think I got all my outfits figured out. And I was able to update my address um, because they just updated the shipping stuff. So hopefully it'll just come to my house. Um what else i'm about to eat some water because i'm super hungry and it is 307 i said i was gonna pack orders but i'm probably gonna eat and take a nap because my head is starting to hurt again and i'll probably just wake up like around six seven ish pack orders drop them off and then head over to go get my stanley cup and then come back home um and grab bentley and then head out to my last appointment because by that time i'm pretty sure it'll be close to one and I want to try to get my eyebrows done before I get my lashes done. So, And I want to see how the eyebrow tinting is. Because she does eyebrows really good. But I want to see how her eyebrow tinting. But then again, I really don't need to tint my eyebrows. Now I ain't going to tint my eyebrows. But I'm going to eat. I'll catch y'all tomorrow. It's your girl Fee. Make sure y'all subscribe. Oh, and before that, make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to get my Instagram followers up. Make sure y'all go follow me on Instagram. It's your girl Fifi. Same name as my YouTube name, okay? It's your girl Fifi. So make sure y'all go follow me, okay? I'll see y'all in the morning. All right, y'all. Sorry about the um lighting. The lighting ain't too good. But good morning. What's up to all my hustlers? So today's agenda is go get my Stanley Cup from my hairstylist house because I left my Stanley Cup and that is the new one, the red one that they did a collaboration with Elf. Yeah, I need that. Um, so ooh, dang, I need some lotion on my hands. Hold on, you put some lotion on my hair. My hands ashy. I mean, I know I just wash my hands and all, but dang, I was gonna have some lotion. Mm -hmm. I put too much on my hands at that, but um go uh over there which she stays on the south side of houston so that's like a good 45 minute drive probably gonna be longer because it's the morning time everybody headed to work and i want to go now and get it out of the way because i do need to leave my house like an hour early so i can go get my eyebrows um uh done because i don't know how long my lash tech is gonna take um oh i, I kind of just i kind of just want to go get it done first and then go to her um, but then again, I realized I have Bentley and him sitting in the car that long. I just don't know how I feel about that. Um, look now. but, um, I just dropped off today's packages. I shipped out, um, I think like 12 orders. Um, we got a lot of big orders. So that was good. God is good all the time. Um, I like that I wake up this early, but I really did not go to sleep. I know I told you I was going to eat and probably go to sleep. I really didn't go to sleep because I realized it was time. I might as well just go ahead and pack the orders while I'm up because I know by the time I come back from the south side, time is just going to catch up to me. So we finna head over there. I do got to go to Hobby Lobby because I have to get more packaging. Um, uh, I don't even know what they called, but I can't never seem to find the right size that I need off of Amazon. So I keep going to Hobby Lobby and getting them, but they be on sale. They be like $2 sometimes. So I got to go to Hobby Lobby and I'm debating if I want to go to Walmart and give me like get a little workout outfit. Because I feel like I got enough clothes. But those come with jackets and they're a little thick. So I'm kind of debating on if I should just go ahead and go grab one. Um, I don't know yet. Um, but uh, what else is on the agenda? Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think that's about it. Oh, I do got to go to UPS. Got to drop off this Fashion Nova corset that did not fit me. Um, and I, I was able to update my address, so I'm hoping that they will ship it to the address. I'm going to call UPS just to make sure it ships to my new address because I'd rather it ship to my house and be than over there because I'm not going to get it. Um, and then other than that, I'm going to go home, get on live, get some orders, and I'm going to um, 
pack um my luggage with all my business stuff so i'm gonna pack that bag i pack my suitcase i just probably just gotta put my essentials in there but i'm gonna put that in in the morning because i know i have to put my essentials in the morning because i need my deodorant i need my facial stuff i'm gonna put all that up i'm probably not gonna take too much makeup because my lashes gonna be done so i don't know if i'm gonna do heavy makeup this guy is being very very weird um what the fuck um but yeah that is today's agenda it's a really busy day really truthfully but of course i'm gonna take y'all with me to the lash appointment or whatever take y'all while i go get my eyebrows well i don't get my eyebrows waxed no more. i get them threaded y'all like getting your eyebrows threaded i was so scared but y'all the way my eyebrows be so defined and i have thick bushy brows so the fact that they are so freaking defined when she does it yeah got to go over there um but yeah that's it y'all that's really it on today's agenda so let's go hi uh i wanted to speak to someone about wholesale uh, you can use sales tax permit no do i need a sales tax permit yes, okay all righty then i'll work on getting that then because i wanted to get a few stuff today but i wanted to get a lot <laughs> yeah yeah you can have your sales tax permit okay mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm in here, y'all, and they have so much stuff. I don't know where to start. Let me ask one. The sales tax permit, is it like something separate from the LLC? Or is it my EIN number? That was we, we need to see the, the permit. A permit? And we saw the motion. Okay. So I gotta get back so I could come here and get some stuff. Y'all, they have so much stuff in here. So, oh my gosh, they have so much stuff. Like, they have so much stuff. I don't even know where to start. Like, I definitely could get my keychain holder from here, create my keychain holder in here. Look at all this stuff, like, yo, this is crazy. I've never seen this much jewelry ever. Like, this is summer, so I have to get my seller's permit ASAP so I can come in here and get a couple of stuff because, yeah, they have so much stuff in here. Like, when I say, like, nothing but a whole bunch of costume jewelry pieces, I'm looking for the Van Cleef dupes. I'm looking for those because I was told they have some that are cheap quality, and then they have some that are good quality. And the good quality ones are the ones that don't tarnish, and I want the ones that don't tarnish because I want to put them on the site. Oh, wow, they have beaded bracelets. Oh, wow, they have a lot of bracelets. They have a whole bunch of bracelets and stuff. Okay, I see the Van Cleef dupes. They have some of this stuff right here. Oh, this is definitely cute. I just wonder what type of material it is. That's what I wanna know the most, what type of material they are before I go ahead and get any of it. Um, they have dainty necklaces. Like, they have some really pretty dainty necklaces. 
this is super cute oh these are super cute oh wow these are cute i wonder what type of i want i really want to get some stuff now girl open the door <laughs> open the door yeah open the door for me you better open the door for me Oh, I got you a camera out. Duh. Hey, how are you? <laughs> you in the show? <laughs> Who is you doing too? Two. What type of pose is that? All right, friend, I'm gonna call you. She's like really stuck on this pose. Like, we supposed like this in middle school. We did. She talking about middle school. I got a picture. From, I got a picture from high school. I'll show you her like this. Exactly. Ain't never. This be the best friend, the bestest. You other bitches, pipe the fuck down. Cause I'm the best of the best. Cause I dare bitch say I'm not. I like this camera. Wait, why is it? You gotta fix it. There you go. Girl, I like this. Wait to see how I be looking on the computer. Honey, give me one of these. That's microphone all ugly. <laughs> this is the microphone? Mm -hmm. So if I can talk closer like this? You don't have to. It'll pick up your sound. Oh, that's why this little thing's moving, child. You... <laughs> She's so bougie, you know. I need a camera. I'm gonna start vlogging. Me and my, me and my papa's daily doses. <laughs> daily doses of being a snitch. what's up y'all it's your girl B so sorry 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 y'all I didn't record I didn't get no content in my camera just been put up it's just been get everything together so yesterday I had a migraine y'all so I just was not gonna vlog because my head was hurting so bad but today was day one it went pretty good I would do a money count today but we're just gonna do a money count tomorrow um today was pretty slow but tomorrow is the day of the game um and that's when everybody gonna be out um so Hopefully tomorrow goes good. This is the outfit. Jacket from Akira. Bodysuit. It's actually a jumpsuit. It goes pullover, but it's keep falling. So I wore it like, you know, like this. Um, got this from TikTok Shop. Waist beads by me. Gold jewelry by me. Rings by me. Don't mind my pinky. The nail is still damaged. <laughs> Gold bangles. And I put this little cute little bow because I thought that was cute. I end up not putting my hair up because I just really thought it was really cute. But I'm going to take a shower and get ready for bed because tomorrow I have to be up at 8. And um, I want to get my makeup done um, early and be ready. I was able to leave the tent and the table and the chair at the place. The man said we could put it in there. So all I have is the waist beads with me. Um, and I have I left the other piece of the rack and I just took the poles with me. But yeah, y'all, tomorrow is going to be day 2. So, wish me luck. bracelet so far lady been selling her bowls um we're gonna be here all day y'all so wish your girl luck wish me a big bag because that's what we out here for for the big bag and we're gonna do the money count tonight okay um but yeah y'all i'm gonna check back in with y'all later because i don't want my battery to die make sure y'all follow me on instagram and make sure y'all like and subscribe okay peace out y'all Take a step out, get some in now, set so edge out, to some ice book, you'll be heavy in my mind. Can you get the heck out? I mean grass now, got me bummed out. 
I'm too 